iTunes 12 launched right alongside Yosemite today, and though there aren't many major changes, the minor tweaks make a lot of difference. I'm Jason Parker for CNET, and this is a first look at Apple's iTunes 12. iTunes, like most every core app in Yosemite, has received a design overhaul with flattened buttons and a slim toolbar at the top. But it's the interface changes that are the most welcome. The drop-down menu that let you select between things like music, movies, and TV shows in the last version is gone. In its place, you get a couple of icons in the upper left for the most common selections, and a drop-down menu just to the right of that for more selections. Across the top, in the middle of the interface, you get menu headings that are relevant to the type of content you choose. For music, that would be My Music, Playlists, Match, Radio, and iTunes Store, while for Movies, you get My Movies, Unwatched, Playlists, and also the iTunes Store. It's a smarter setup than previous versions because you can access all the stuff you already own in one place, but the store is still handy when you want to add more. The layout of the iTunes store is the same as previous versions, but the way you navigate it is much easier. Now, once you're in the iTunes store, you can use those same icons in the upper left to switch to each different storefront. While iTunes 12 is not a big change over previous versions, the small tweaks make it much easier to get around. It's important to note that this first look is for the Mac version, but we'll be looking at the Windows update at a later time. I'm Jason Parker for CNET, and this has been a first look at iTunes 12. Thanks for watching.